The island of Sodor is a busy, bustling place. There is always lots for the engines to do. One morning, Thomas was shunting trucks in the yard when the fat controller came to see him. The fishermen have caught their biggest catch of fish ever. Thomas? You must help Arthur take them to the docks. Thomas was fed up. He didn't like the smell of fish. And when he got to the fishing village, there were lots of trucks, all stacked full of fish. Thomas had never seen so many fish. Phew, he puffed. What a horrible smell. Then Arthur arrived. Arthur warned Thomas that the route to Brendam Docks was bumpy. Only take five trucks at a time, said Arthur, and go slow and steady. Arthur carefully collected five trucks, then he puffed slowly out of the harbour yard. Thomas looked at all the fish trucks. He didn't want to go slow and steady. He wanted to get his smelly job over with. So Thomas shunted all of the trucks into a long line. And he puffed out of the village. The trucks were heavy and smelly, but Thomas was pleased his job would soon be over. But then the troublesome trucks decided to have some fun. The trucks wiggled and they giggled. <laughs> they made Thomas's journey very bumpy. Some of the fish were shaken loose. Yuck! Thomas gasped. I wish I'd have taken fewer trucks. Thomas puffed hard. He pushed the long line of trucks up the hill. He started to puff down the other side. Thomas tried to go slowly, but the trucks wanted to go faster. On, 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 they cheered. Thomas went faster and faster. Cinders and ashes, Thomas cried. Salty was at the bottom of the hill. He was waiting for a signal. He didn't know Thomas was coming down the hill. Thomas was out of control. Thomas braked as hard as he could. But the fish trucks were too heavy. Oops, said Thomas. Sorry. Salty was covered in fish. Never mind me, Artie, said Salty. The smell reminds me of the sea. Thomas's driver telephoned for help. And soon Harvey was clearing the tracks. Thomas wondered what the fat controller would say. He found out soon enough. You have caused confusion and delay, said the fat controller sternly. You must learn to be more safe. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, Thomas puffed sadly. This time, Thomas shunted only five trucks together. He took a deep breath and chuffed away. Thomas puffed through the countryside. I will get to the docks on time, he cried, but the troublesome trucks were up to some of their old tricks. Hold back, they giggled, but this time there were only five trucks. Thomas biffed and bashed and bumped them, and the trucks weren't troublesome anymore.
As soon as he delivered the first trucks, Thomas went back to collect the next five. His coupling smelled of kippers and his cabin smelled of cod. But he was working so hard, he forgot all about the smell. At last, he had just one more load to take. But it was nearly time for the ship to leave. Thomas raced as fast as he could. His axles ached and his buffers were bashed, but he got to the docks just in time. Thomas was very happy to say goodbye to the fish. Then the fat controller came to see Thomas. I know you don't like the smell of fish, but you have worked very hard, the fat controller said. You really are a useful engine. Thomas was proud, but he still had the smell of fish in his funnel and he couldn't wait to be clean. So he puffed off to the washdown. Arthur and Salty were already there. Getting clean is lovely, puffed Arthur. Best part of the day, said Salty. Especially when you smell of fish, said Thomas. Thomas.